Hi, this is Valentine and in this video I wanted to show you how you can set up different URLs in Postman so that you can use the same request to test on localhost, on your testing server or in production. All coming up in a second. This lecture can be especially relevant for you if you are testing your own API, if you are working with an API that you are developing. And it's often the case that you have, for example, 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 for example, example. Sorry, if you have example.com slash API slash users or something like that. And this would be your production server. And you want to test it sometimes for localhost. And that will be something like localhost port 8080, for example. Or you want to test it on a test server. And that maybe is example qa.com or any other random address and basically you have this address hard-coded in your URL and every time you want to test against a different environment you need to manually change the address and that is not only time-consuming and annoying but it can lead to errors or you typing something that you shouldn't have uh, typed in uh, causing you weird errors that you do not understand. And the solution for that in Postman is to use environments and environment variables. So let me show you what I meaning. You see here on the right side that it says no environment. And if I click this I here, I will see here the possibility of adding an environment. So now we just imagine that we have an environment called localhost. I'm going to add that. And we're going to use, and we are going to add three more environments. And that is testing and production. But first, let's do the following. We're going to go in localhost and say here URL. And that will be HTTP localhost port 8080. Okay. And once we've done that, we can just click this duplicate environment. I'm going to duplicate it again. This will be our testing environment. So will be example qa.com I'm just making this up but you'll get a point kind of update this and finally this will be our production and I'm gonna see here example.com great so now all I have to do is replace this part and in Postman, the way you use variables is that you use double curly brackets. And inside here, I will type in URL, but you can name it as you like. And going back here to the right part, you will see that there's currently no environment available. But we, because we just added a couple of them, we have here localhost production and testing. And when I'm selecting localhost, you can see that the color on this URL has changed. And if I hover over it, you will see here that the value that will be used is actually localhost port 8080. And if I go to testing, this value will change to example QA. And if I go to production, this will change to example.com. And you can create as many environments as you need. It really, there's absolutely no limit. Usually the tendency is to create the environments as you have different systems. And right now I don't even have a collection. And once I select an environment, this environment will be available to all the collections and all the requests that I have right now. But if you're executing this request later, in a continuous integration server, you need to export or to make these environments available as well. 
Right now we are just doing this in Postman, but the same goes if you're running the entire collection with the collection runner or Newman and so on. You just specify which environment to use and the rest will be handled by Postman. Just a quick note, if you need to access environment variables in scripts, you can just use the PM API. So if I just want to display something here, I can get an, envi I can get an environment variable and that will be URL. And this is the way on how you retrieve it. You will find a lot of examples on how to do stuff like that if you download the Postman Quick Reference Guide, which you can download for free and you will find a link in the description. In the description there is also a link to my Postman online course, which can be very helpful, especially if you are interested in writing tests and workflows for your API and integrating with your continuous integration server and much more, so maybe you want to check that out as well. Coming back to our use case. There's one final thing I wanted to show you. If you need to know inside your scripts which environment is currently active, for whatever reason, you cannot just tell it by that because the URL is going to change all the time, but there's no API in Postman telling you now production is active. And for that reason we need to define an environment variable key inside all the environments. So I'm going to click here to edit this. And while managing environments, for example, I'm saying here, the environment is production. And if I want to go to localhost, I'm gonna say here environment is local or whatever fits your needs. Here I'm gonna say environment is testing. And now, for example, I can retrieve that information in my pre-request script or in my test script and decide something on it. For example, if environment equals production, then run some specific tests or do some specific stuff. It's totally up to you. But this is how you do it. In case your address is more complicated, has different paths or changes a lot, different ports, versions, you can use as many variables as you like and you can just define them here and say something like, I don't know, if there's a port as well, you can say here port or API version, whatever you're using. Uh, you can just define them in the environment variables. Of course, they are showing up red right now because I haven't defined them. But define and combine as many variables as you need using the syntax. And it should work without any problems. Thank you for watching this short tutorial. Let me know by leaving a comment in the section below if this tutorial worked out for you. And if it did, I would be more than happy if you can give this video a thumbs up so that others can find it as well. And if you're interested in more tutorials on Postman and so on, just hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and to get notified every time I upload new videos. If you're learning Postman, make sure you check the description below because I'll be posting links to resources that will definitely help you in the process of figuring out how to use Postman while testing your APIs. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.